Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Plat 100% walkthrough. This is part 97, which means we are almost done with the game basically. Three personas to make and a boss to beat and we will have that platinum. I hope you guys have been enjoying the let's play. And I'm um, just gonna go to bed I think, wait, yeah. I think we just gotta go to bed. I don't think there's much else we can do at this point in the game. Uh, we're gonna be going to Marawama's palace after we meet Nakawaka. Nakawaka? Nanawaka? No, that's the that's uh, the that's the guy for Yuji's social link. Who are we meeting now? I forgot the guy's name, but we're meeting the artist who was a stalker and then we fucked him up and mementos. It was great. Starting today, our new hideout is in the walkway in Shibuya. Okay. Speaking of Shibuya, didn't Mishima say Nakunohara would be there now too? So we're gonna meet Nakunohara, he's gonna tell us about Marawame, we're gonna go to Marawame's palace, we're gonna murder some people, I'm gonna Yo. get some money, it's gonna be a great episode. Yo! We're about to head to the hideout too. Hmm? Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakunohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? Um. My, my name is Nakunohara. Natsu Hiko Nakunohara, the one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice, doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cap. Hmm. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Marowame. Hey. Oh, you think this is it? Is the people gonna confess his master secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I am one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a very talented man. Multiple years my senior, obviously Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he wa made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim though. Huh. Alright, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, the senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarama's name. That was when I displayed Madarama's pleas and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working out a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. I'd like to ask again, please make Madarama have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's for the life of another man as well. Said the life. Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarama's tutelage. I think he's about your age. Hmm. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarama for taking in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. <coughs> so Yusuke has got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Marawame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Marawame and he, do you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitagawaka. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Marawame's heart. Okay, I don't care really game, but anyway. Um, we've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarama's victims. It sounds like we don't have to time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarama's heart. You're right. Hell yeah! Madarama's just a piece of shit who prays on the weak. <laughs> Suicide? I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitagawa Gun really feels. Okay. Well, since we reached the unanimous decision, how about we continue to set our new hat out? Mm-hmm. I still think ha having a hideout in the middle of fucking nowhere is not a good idea, but you know, that's just me personally, I don't know. My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. The new hideout sucks. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? 
You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here! We can't mess this up, no matter what! Okay, that was a lot of dramatic dramaticism. All dramatic dramaticism aside. Okay. This is the first job for fledgling, so let's make sure we did- uh, excuse me, this is not the first job, this is the Kamashita was the first job. Oh, I guess we became fledglings after Kamashita, so this is the first job of fledgling, but it's not the first job of fledgling, because this is my second motherfucking okay, time let's go. going through this world. Anyway, lots of long stories and stuff aside, we are going to Madarama's palace, I'm going to be running through Madarama's entire palace on camera, guys, uh, because I want to pad the episodes out a little bit. Simply because I want to hit 100 episodes and if I don't, if I actually just edit it to doing what is essential, it would only hit 98 episodes and that would feel odd. So what I'm doing is I'm doing part 2 and part 3 today in this episode and then I'm going to be doing mementos and uh, all the persona creations and the money farming and shit like that in the next episode and the last episode I'm going to make the final personas and fight the reaper a billion times and then the hundredth episode is going to be the twins in the end of the game so it's going to be glorious without further ado let's go do I need personas I'm using a pale radu and um, and you have been equipped correct yes you have you look brokenly strong to me good sweet let's go so like I said, I'm going to go through the entirety of Madarama's palace. I absolutely love running through palaces, so I don't mind it. Um, I understand it's difficult because uh, at this point, people that are watching this specific Let's Play have probably seen me run through Madarama's palace like four or five times already. But uh, for people that have watched this and my blind palace, you've probably seen me run through Madarama's palace like 10 to 11 times, 12 times even. So you might not want to see Madarama's palace. So feel free to skip ahead, guys. Feel free to skip ahead until the end of Madarama's palace part one. But I would recommend that you don't. I would recommend you look at it all because, you know, we have to still I do. I have to do everything. I have to do Madarama's palace part two to get to the platinum. I have to do Madarama's palace part three to get to the platinum. It's just part of the system. So anyway, let's go. Laser beams. What? Wait, Joker. It's an infrared laser device. If we touch it, the security will increase. Hold on, there was nothing. There wasn't anything like this last time, though. The rumors might slowly be making my room become more wary of us. Joker, they're not easy to see, but you should be able to do it with your skills. Be careful. Infrared lasers. There's one thing I hope Persona 5 Royale brings out, and that is a brokenly strong, difficult uh, area. It's somewhere. Because the problem with uh, Persona is it's just in general too form. easy. So I'll be very happy if they would actually just make it a harder, a harder vert, like a hard palace, like a, a really unnecessarily hard palace. You know what I mean? Just like one that like actually takes like planning and um, maneuvering and thinking and things like that. So this is a little more exciting because right now my big problem with the palace is that it's just a little bit too easy. The game is just a little bit too easy. Even if you play on the hardest difficulty, the game is still too easy. Weak. I'm gonna explain to you all what the I can't jump over that. I can't jump over that. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm gonna explain to you guys what the difficulty increase in Persona does. If you play on a high difficulty level of Persona, this is all that happens. You run out of SP. That is it. That is it. The game isn't harder. The game, the enemies aren't much stronger. You get less money and experience, which is frustrating because you know it gets a little bit difficult to buy things. Or it gets a little bit difficult to level. You gotta grind a little bit more. But the that's it. It's just the grinding more means that you get. Uh, you need to use more SP. So if you take out the SP equation of the sum, if you say like, okay, well I'm gonna remove all SP from Persona. 
skills and abilities don't require SP anymore. If you do that, uh, the game is actually extremely easy. Like, Persona as a game is very easy. And I would like it if they would just make it a little harder. You know what I mean? Just a little harder. Because the game is too easy. Let's be honest with each other. It's just the... Uh, it is what it is. But, um, yeah. I'm playing on the easiest difficulty now specifically, though. Just because I want to get as much money as I can. And if you play on safe mode, which is the difficulty I'm playing right now, you get five times the... Yen. Excuse me. Hey, you got me. Congratulations. Uh, you get five times the yen from combat. So that's the only reason I'm playing it safe right now because I need lots of money to buy and make. Um, who do I need to make? Uh, Satomi and uh, Michael and Chio. Those are the three personas I need to make to get the platinum trophy. So I need a lot of money for that. That's literally the only reason I'm playing on safe mode. Oh, I would have played normal mode again, like we did in our first playthrough because. Okay, Normal mode is Let's really go. too easy. I can feel it's it. like really, really easy. But anyway, anyway um, it, I just hope Persona 5 Royale does that. Because even if you play on merciless mode, merciless mode is actually easier than hard mode. Because enemies take more damage from their elemental weakness. You take more damage from your own elemental weakness, but so do the enemies. Meaning that in the, in the long run, it's actually easier to play the game against everything except for bosses because only bosses are immune to every element and only bosses are a problem but everything else is not immune to every element so everything else is super easy you know what i mean does that make sense guys does this make sense to all of you i hope so and once again, if you go watch the the uh, first nine episodes of the Let's Play, okay. that is the basically the actual game. That, that is the actual gameplay of the game. This is just running through to get to the twins. But if you go watch the original 90 episodes, form. you'll notice a very distinctive feature, and that is that Kamoshida's Palace was the hardest palace in the game because it was the earliest palace in the game. And we just ran out of SP. And once we ran out of SP, because we had so little personas and so little skills on our heroes. And no items as well. It right. made the game really, really hard. I can see it. A stylish victory. So the hardest part of Persona 5 is the first palace of New Game Plus. Uh, of hey. New Game. That's the hardest part of the game. We'll be in an unknown territory once we get past here, right? The security will probably get a little more fierce as well. Make sure you don't touch anything or run into any of the displays, alright? What are you looking at me for? I can see it. So if I had an opportunity to work on Persona... I personally would have made an optional dungeon. You know, like those games that always have those optional dungeons or those optional areas that are always completely frustrating. Like Omega Ruins and Vomit 10, which isn't even that bad if we've been honest. But you know, that type of deal, right? So that, that's what I would do. I would create an area like that. So it's just like a little bit of a frustration to get through. Make you make you work a little bit for it. Make you suffer a tiny bit. You know what I mean? Because I always think that that's uh, kind of fun. Because, I mean, you don't need to go to Omega Ruins in Pharmacy uh, 10. But you want to go to Omega Ruins in Pharmacy 10. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't, I don't, it's like, I don't have to go there. I don't have to fight Omega Ruins. But I want to go there, you know? And I think a lot of people actually might not even find it when they first play for Pharmacy 10. So. Yeah! Victory! But I wouldn't want to make it like okay. the cost of trials from Farmer's Team 2 because the cost of trials you kind of just skip. Because once you hit like floor 80 off the check, it becomes pretty much impossible to kill things anyway, so you kind of just skip it all. Like the Mega Tomb Berries are broken and frustrating, so you don't want to fight them, so you just skip them. So I'm a bit worried the combat's a little loud, guys. If the combat's a bit loud, I apologize. There's not much I can do about it. This game's sound is really weird, as I mentioned before. Very, very loud combat, very, very okay. soft uh, spoken voice, etc. Hello. I don't know why I'm not ambushing anything, but it's fine, I guess. Ooh, the chickens. I mean, we can kill the chickens in one hit, so I'm not too worried, but the chickens are probably the only thing that can actually game over us at this point because of Mudu. Mudu is pretty much all we have to worry about, I think. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out soon. Okay. Easy win. They were nothing. Were they though, Vigi? I mean, they really were, I guess. Actually, dude, I don't mind Madoramis, but it's not one of my favorites. But it's not horrible. 
I'll reveal your it's not the form. worst pilot. You know? I think. I think. Um. If I had to say the worst palace, I and worst boss is probably Okamura's palace. I just feel like it sucks. It's just a boring palace, and the final boss is trash. It's not even exciting. Actually, like, kind of, I'm, I actually get kind of very irritated that Okamura's palace even exists in all honesty. It's like the fifth palace in the game, and. It's like you're pretty far and you invest a lot of time and effort into Persona and then they give you this shitty palace that kind of could even potentially push you in a direction of not wanting to to even play the game at that point. So I, I think it was a bad design choice personally, but it's fine. I am interested to know in Persona 5 Royal if this new character is going to um, introduce a new palace. Or are we just gonna get the new character? Because every character you get in Persona, you get via palace. Obviously, Futaba from Futaba's palace, Makoto from Kaneshiro's palace, Yosuke from Marawame's palace, Anne and Ryuji and Morgana from Kamoshida's palace, and um, Haru from Okamura's palace, right? So every character you get is from a palace. Akechi from Sai's palace, or four Sai's palace, rather, but basically Sai's palace is Akechi. So every character you get is, is gotten via palace. Now my question that I ask is, will um I have Oh it's this thing, I forgot about this. Will the new character I can't remember, I was trying to remember her name, but I can't remember her name. So it's probably what a splendid vase. Oh we had to walk past it. There we go. Um will the new character have her own palace too or just gonna get the new character? Okay, that's what I wanna know. Hey, wait a second, you're just gonna ignore that golden sheen. Mmm, look at that luster. I know it might be tough to take with us, but don't you think it'll sell for tons? Making this thumbnail was a lot of work, by the way. Come on, we didn't come here to... Whoa. Hold on, you're stepping on something. Wait. Isn't this bad? Stand back. Oh no, I chopped the security. Uh, and you were the one making us be careful too. So what do you want to do? Run out of here? No, passing through all these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on. Joker's not trapped. Sorry, Joker, but you're going to need to... We're going to need you to search for a way to turn off these infrared lasers. This is a museum, so there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it. Uh, can't we just like run through the lasers and get a bunch of enemies to come at us so we can have like a gauntlet fight of death? That would be fun. Somewhere. I, know, I think I sometimes I really feel like I could be a great game designer. I can see it. Cause I've got a, I think I feel like I've got a mind for, for creating games. I got all these ideas. Board. Like if I made Persona 5, I would have had this option. The one is Joker, get every get the people out by hitting all the switches, etc. etc. Or you could just make them run through the infrared rays that go on. Then you miss let's say you miss the item. Okay. Let's say you can't get that golden item then, but then you it's the price you can pay. You can be like, well, if I'm a speedrunner or something, I can just run through it. Maybe put your... Uh, this, I don't know. What do you want to call it? But basically the thing that decides this wanted level or whatever. What is it called? Seriously, wanted thank level? You. It's somewhere. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. I can feel it. I'm supposed to go up. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, so you could do this and go around, switch all the things and things, blah, 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 blah. Or you can get through the infrared levels, shoot up your wanted level crazy, but you can't backtrack and you can't get the item. So it's like a payoff. You gotta, like, okay, just to go faster, I'm losing some shit. You know what I mean? That's what I would say. Oh, I got jabated. Congratulations. That's <laughs> a bad enemy. <laughs> Ah, I got you better by the game. This is hilarious. Oh, there's another one. Hopo is watching. What, are you watching your friends be murdered? It's weird. So yeah, I would implement that if I make games. Option, options like that in games, I think, are very cool. Because 
obviously everyone that plays the game for the first time, they're not going to run through the fucking lasers, right? But you're going to get that odd person that's going to be like, hey, let's run through the fucking lasers as our first go. And then they're going to get wrecked and it's going to be like, oh my lord, here's a life lesson, don't run through the ra lasers. But then when you get good at the game, you've played it a couple of times, you're like, oh, let's run through the lasers because now I'm super good and I understand how it works. And Sorry. I can uh, have like go a little bit faster or maybe potentially on purpose fight extra enemies so that I can get a little bit of am I missing something right now? Uh, so I can get a little bit of items, extra items type thing, you know what I mean? That type of thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Whoa wait Hey I have something I was like uh what is the uh what is the... What's my called? The computer I'm supposed to click on? Blah 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 No, I want to murder this guy. Hello. Show me your true form! That's what you get, motherfucker! I'm not as Hopos! Now I actually kind of feel bad. I'm sorry, Hopos. Nothing personal. So obviously I'm going pretty fast through it, but I'm still doing everything, I'm still killing everything, getting all the items. Now the guide recommends that you just skip all right. it all because you don't need it. And if, you, if, you, if you've got a lot of money, you don't need it, but I don't have a lot of money, so I need it. Uh, I need to actually hit this, don't I? Yes. You did it guys, I'm saved! Good work, my brother. Sorry. I'm sorry, that was very much unlike me. Jeez, weren't you the one telling us not to go around touching shit in the exhibit? Uh, this is true. I can't believe I made such an obvious mistake, even for solid gold. But something was drawing me to this vase. What do you mean? Isn't it just an ordinary gold vase? I wonder if there's something special about it. Should we take a closer look just in case? Who would make a golden vase? Wait. What is this? Oh, I see, so that's why I was drawn to it. Joker, catch it! I'll explain the rest later. Just get after it and attack. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's actually impossible. Twenty-five thousand. I mean, I forgot you get five times a month. Oh my word! No wonder why the yes. fucking original guy tells you I would be bloated by this point. Good, good. That was pretty nice, considering it was your first time running into one. What was that? That lady on was a rare shadow that occasionally resides in pricey items that I call them treasure demons. They're great. Not only do they give us a lot of experience, they are useful for your personas too. However, they run very fast and attacks don't deal very much damage to them. Yeah, I don't care about Treasure Demon's game. Oh, also, so I was taking easy. a sip of my I'm coffee, yawning. guys. That's why I wasn't commentating. Um, you yawning, my brother? Really? Boom, boom, boom. Hello. Is that any person out? Just gotta take you down. The game is kind of evil. It like uh, lulls you into a sense of false security, being like, "Hey, check out easily killing everything in new game plus. The game is super easy." Okay. And then you're like, "Awesome, the game's easy." And then they're like, "Time to fight a boss." And then you fight the boss and you get wrecked. You know, people in real life don't actually care about the, I can see it. like the bath, a bathroom, like a male or female bathroom. It's just a bathroom. You go to the toilet. You need the bathroom. You need the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? This I mean, if you're in a public area, yeah. But I mean, that's obviously different. But I mean, this is a very unique situation. You're not. No, it's not every day you're gonna be like, yo, I'm fucking in a palace that doesn't exist in someone's heart. You know, no one cares then about what sex the toilet is. What is this? Is it like vending machines? Mad area. Hmm. 
I'll go that person for now. Sometimes one of these is a treasure, I think. Maybe this one? Nope, not today. I think that one can be a treasure, but it's not always a treasure. I'm just not entirely sure. Why would anyone skip this treasure chest? I don't understand. It's a free treasure chest game. The one in the back saw me. The one in the front did not see me. That's hilarious. Excuse me, Ryuji. I was gonna say you had one job and you missed. He missed his one job. I remember every persona I need to draw to make Satanio could cost about 60 to 70,000 yen. And every persona I need to draw Michael is roughly the same. And every persona I need to make uh, Chio is a little bit cheaper, but also around there. So I need about, I would say, 300,000 yen per persona. So I need almost a million yen to make these last few personas. Roughly. I'm not entirely sure. I could be off with my calculations a little bit, but I'm pretty sure in general I'm on the money, you know what I mean? But, but I can't make any of them until I've unlocked the strength yeah, confidant victory. because I need the strength confidant to be able to fuse multiple personas. So at the moment, I can't actually go. I can't go to the bathroom and check right. and start making them. It's not possible. A stylish okay. victory. Okay. Isn't everything I do stylish, though, Morgana? I'm just saying. I can see it. So I'm gonna look how much money I get from this big chicken fight. And if it's enough money, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind this area for money uh, off camera and I'm just going to edit it and then you guys will know, so it's fine. I'll reveal Hello. Your true form. I don't want to grind too high level wise, but I do want to make sure I get some income because I need money. It's kind of um, less fun when you're not actually trying to get the personas or something like that, but you know, it's fun. We level 19 already. God dang it. God damn. So triple experience, people. Triple experience. Five times the money and three times okay. experience on safe difficulty. It's crazy. That's all it takes for me. Hello. Wait, where's this dude? Let's go where is he respawns. Respawn. Why is he not respawn? Hello? You're supposed to respawn. Hey dude. Why is your I'll friend not your respawning? These are five chickens, they're very annoying. I hate them. Does brain shake everything? No. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. I haven't done an all-out attack in a while, so let's do it for funsies. So I grinded these chickens for quite a while in normal mode because I was getting so much less money and in income. Only six grand. That's not really worth it for money grind, in my opinion. Meh. I don't think I'll grind them. It's fine. I think. I think if I need to grind money, I'll grind the money in Mentos. It be easier for me. Bam, bam, bam. Hey. Let's take it off the wall. Let's push mm. the button. This is... Push that button. Easy. Sweet, so we're about halfway through this episode and we're about to finish Madarami's Palace. So that's a two for one special type situation, which is great. And then, um, yeah, we're going to head on over to... Yusuke have the whole and thick scene and then we're gonna have the whole uh what's it scene and something glorious. <laughs> Whoa, really open. Bum 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 Whoa What the hell? Are these infrared lasers? There's no way we can get past them. Mm. This level security only proves there's something worth protecting up ahead. Hey. Wait, there's something written on the sign. All personnel of this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. Please be cautious as it is impossible to open from the outside. What? So it's never gonna open? How are we supposed to get past? Wait, that door, I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Yeah. Oh right, there's no mistaking it. That's the same door I saw earlier. Guys, let's head back. Huh? huh? Why? I think I know what real world door that's based on. There's the, there may be a way to open it. Let's In any case, I'll explain it later. Come on, let's go. I suppose we should listen to Morgana for the time being. 
Bum, bum, bum. So I think we go to Madarama's place the third time. It's just with Yosuke like awakening and then we get kicked out immediately. I can't remember. Oops, how much was that? Uh, only 300k. It's not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Somewhere. I need more income. That's fine. We're going to leave. Like I said, we're about halfway through this episode. So let's just head on out. Go and uh, unlock part three. Or not part. Yeah, I guess part three of the palace. And um, yeah, it's going to be Gucci. And then we're going to have Yosuke's awakening scene. Fight a mini boss. Yosuke's going to die in the same episode. Next episode, we're going to be going to Mementos. In Mementos, we're going to be doing a lot of grinding and oh. stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's going to be glorious, guys. It's glorious. We're going to have the Reaper many, many, many times and stuff like that. So. How are we supposed to get past that door? I don't know. You think there's some kind of off switch somewhere? Looks like this is where I come in. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Madarame's palace. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Oh, so this was your plan from the start? Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. So, where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's... Oops. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ah, uh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Madarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Oh! Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This isn't funny! We're not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan! Do I have to be the bait? Good luck, Anne. Why can't one of you guys go nude? It ain't what he wants. Then make it so he does! All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. Uh, God! Fine, I'll do it. For justice. Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, alright? If he tries to force my clothes off, 
I'll tear that house down. I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but... Uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? I don't know, just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. It, it's probably gonna work. It's probably gonna work. Um, thinking, 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 thinking. Okay. Leave this to me. I'll get it up and right before his very ass. Pay, 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 pay. You got in touch with Yusuke? Mm, he asked me to come back tomorrow. Oh, hell yeah. He thought for it. Uh, do I really have to do this? Strip for a man. I'm not stripping! Man, this is such a pain. We gotta open that door and have Madara see it, right? Yeah, Morgana said that will change his cognition. I don't get it. Oh, and one more thing. Let us know if any weird shit goes down and we'll be there to back you up ASAP. Okay, okay, got it. Now then, a palace is a reflection of its own views of the world. So if Madara's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady Anne to strip for you, Scare. It's the only way. Hmm? Hey, we're heading out. This place is closing soon. What? But I want to watch TV. There's a special on that guy called the Protective Detective Prince of Ketchy. It'll still be on the news. You can watch it at home. That pretty boy's been on TV a lot lately. You can see his face anytime, actually. Well, thanks for the coffee. Look, this is some bullshit. Now Don't go near up. the busy places you hear. I'm not at fault if you get involved in any shady business. How would I ever get involved with any shady business? You must be tired of today. Let's go to sleep. So we are forced to sleep here, and then tomorrow we are forced to go to Madarama's Palace. So it's a pretty straightforward episode. Madarama's Palace, two trips, that's it. Get Yosuke, men join, lots of talking and dialogue, and then next episode we head to Mementos. Uh, I'm going to be doing some fusioning and some Mementos fighting and things, and then... Well, that's about it, I guess. Well then, Lady Anne and I will head over to Madarama's house. Madarama's house! I don't think, unfortunately, we, like I said, we're we'll able to... Um, grind or anything in the palace because Mo uh, Yusuke is going to join us and then we're going to fight a boss and then Yusuke is going to be all tired from using his new persona and all that crap and we're going to have to leave etc etc you guys get the bitch and we're going to we're counting on you me and Planum, Planum are banned from going there so all we can do is right here no you two have something different you'll need to do what do you mean you have to wait inside the palace once the door opens sneak in and look for some kind of control room we need to make sure the door can't close anymore after it's open that's a good point Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay, you can leave it to us. Bam, bam, ba, da, ba. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um... I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it. What was that? Oh, no! <laughs> it was nothing! By the way... Have you gained some weight? You think so? I weigh the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated today. So then, can you, um, get ready here? I need to take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? <sighs> oh. Tight? No, oh, I'm doing this for art. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei is coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm, do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. This should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? A lock? 
<laughs> Must a girl say more? Uh, but the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... You were wearing all this? D don't you think it's cool today? <laughs> I suppose so. But the sun is starting to set. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. <laughs> True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh, that's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. What kind of poses? Lady On, you have to act. Get back in character. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. Wait, if you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please wait! I'm counting on you, Mona. That scene never gets old, no matter how many times you watch it. Anne's a great actress. Are you seriously gonna be able to pull this off? Probably the best actress I've ever heard of in my whole she life. She's saying stuff like, I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. The hell are you, G? She's a great actress. Plus, but we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Marurame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's he gonna show it to Marurame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? It'll definitely work, man. You need to chillax. I want to think that too, but... Bam, 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 it's almost bam, time. Bam. Let's do this. Let's do this. Please, uh, can you just wait and... Was she wearing shorty booty pants underneath a skirt with stockings? I don't believe that for a second. What's past here? Doesn't That's... add up. So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. Doesn't add up. I keep telling you, you can't. You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws. Oh, shame, we're gonna look so sad. Oh, no. Is something the matter? Oh, um... So... What is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. Wanna be alone with you. Somewhere like quiet. <laughs> you know, where we won't get interrupted. Is he really going to buy that terrible act? Stay focused. Hmm? Oh, it's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa kun, do you not like girls like me? No, th that's not true. How is that working on him? Men are stupid, Morgana. Please, we can continue this inside. Sh sure. I mean, no, we can't go in there. God damn, I hit my mic. Uh, it's locked anyway, so. Fine. This is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. But... Let's just do it in here, okay? 
What do I do? I'm home. S Sensei. Yusuke. All right, it's open. I still uh -huh. really like the way they fade this fade this in. It's really cool. What are you doing there? It's it's not what it looks like. That's a very nice uh, pitch up end. What? I really like how they did that. The part looks really Not cool. In there. Do, 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 do. It's actually kind of like a little bit uh, cool. It's kind of like it's almost like it's a little bit of a spooky, uh, spooky thing. Oh, that's a play spooky game again. I haven't played a spooky game what's... forever. Bam, 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 bam. It's off. Bam, bam, they bam, seriously bam, bam. did it. They're amazing. Yeah, for real. Let's go. Let's do this. So we gotta fight, I think, one fight with Joker and Muji, and then we gotta um, see the whole Yosuke fight thing, and then there's some dialogue things, and All then right. uh, it's pretty much chill from uh, there, right? I think. Can't actually remember. <laughs> oh my god, my brain has decided to leave me. Why is that guy red? There's no way. <laughs> Damn it, already? Hey, what do you wanna do? We have to beat it. Hey? Yeah. The real problem is the fact that we got a hand this, which is the two of us. Anyway, I'll leave the timing up to you, dude. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Man. I know, dude. I do everything. I'm used to it. Okay, so there's no breakables there, actually. Bam, bam, bam. Sorry. Yo, you're gonna let us through right now? Hmm, who are you? I see that attire. You must be the thieves who dare threaten Lord Marama. I'm wearing jammies. And you're saying I'm a fantasy? Is that the official attire of the fantasy? They got past the security system? You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. Mm -hmm. You guys ain't got nothing on us. Mm -hmm. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Okay, so that was the boss fight. It was very exciting. I know. I know you guys are all like, damn, that was so exciting. Never watched something as exciting in my entire life. But, you know. It's his time. Do not be as exciting. <sighs> Man, things are real tough when it's just me and you. It'll be a pain in the ass if we got spotted again. Anyways, let's turn off that security system. Yeah. Oh, there's a breakable item. I need to get. Takamaki san, this is bad. Are these the lights? <gasps> what the? Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. But why? The real Sayuri stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. <sighs> I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing well they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? 
This sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On! This one seems different. Sayuri. This... This is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. Talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady On, let's run! A cat! Where did it... There's no point! They'll be here within two minutes! Takamaki-san! Two mi You know how far I can get in two minutes? If you give me a two-minute head start, I will disappear. Yeah, let's go! Well, let's hurry up and get that shit shut off. Focus. I'm just checking this stuff. Raise the battery ability. I can't go up here, right? If I go up here, the game stops me. Ta da! Whoa, Whoa is this? Man, first come shit and now Matarama. All palace rulers like this? I can't Focus. go up here, right? If I go. Uh, somewhere they stop me. I know they stop me at some point. I just don't know where they stop me. Come on, Whoa, man. wait up. It's dangerous to keep going, just the two of us. We gotta find a way to turn that security off first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to see how far I could go. Flip. Flip. And... All right. Oh yeah, this is the room. So, which one's for the security? Maybe the one that's lit up. I don't know. I'm just gonna say, I think it might potentially be the one that's lit up. Beautiful. And now we leave. Hey, who's there? Whoa! Crap, let's make a run for it. Bam, bam. I'm actually in the mood to play like a scary game. It's been a while. Alright, oh, right, looks like security is totally off. Let's get back and meet up with the others. I hope those two managed to get away. That's still very impressive. That is a very impressive catch, Yusuke. I'm actually impressed. That was a manly man catch. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, hey! Uh, will you let go already? <laughs> oh no! I didn't mean to push him so hard. Are you okay? Wake up! Who are you all? Uh, calm down, Kitagawa-kun. It's me! That's because a Come giant poofy son. blonde head didn't give it away. That means you two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. What is this place? We're inside Matarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san. But are you sure you're feeling okay? She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Matarame? <sighs> That's... Uh... You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Matarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say... We're a group that changes the hearts of rotten crooks? If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still, 
He has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once! Let's go. Yes. Don't matter, I'm as Oh, it stops us at the other one, of course. It stops us at the the fountain of youth thing. Yes. We need to hurry out of here. That's it. We have an amateur with us, so let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. We have an amateur with us. That's not very nice. uji has been with us through the whole Kamashita Palace. La la la. How could this be? So this is inside of Sensor's heart. A vain museum such as this. I mean, remember he thinks. Where's Morgana? Morgana's not in my party. You guys notice? <coughs> ah, this painting. Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be past people's or something. But why are they painting them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the people's themselves. <laughs> my room is so many objects, so that's why they are here. Uh, and uh, we found yours too. We'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. The exit is right there! <laughs> Who is it? What the? <laughs> talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. This... This is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. Some setup you've got, man. Impressed. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that! No. The worth of art is purely subjective. Thus, this is a legitimate business transaction. Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum! You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man, 
You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes from the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come. Go on! Ah! A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! Whoa, this is impressive! <laughs> Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be death! Where are my guards? Kill them all! I like, uh, so that, you that voice. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! You got this, man! I am ready! Oh, it's Ipanta Tararara! Oh, and a bunch of little guys, okay. I was gonna say, like, hmm, Ipanta Tararara. You are in the presence of Lord Marwame! On your knees, intruders! I learned much from you, Madarame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. Bam, bam. This is my other self! That's and the fight. Okay, that was easy peasy. Moving along. Ba, 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 ba. Good money. The money's really good. I'm liking this money growth. It's making right. level 16 on Yosuke. That means I'm four levels over leveled, roughly. Damn, son. Damn. Damn. You say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist! Matarame! You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me! Get back here! Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? 
Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father, but he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. No, we understand, bruh. It's fine. It's fine. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame has gone and changed, but we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> don't tell me. Oh, crap! We'll talk later. We need to scram! When did my clothes change? You just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go! Kind of reminds me of Rise's um, dungeon or palace or whatever you want to call it. But Rise's world, kind of like the enemies of the hard faces and uh, all that. Kind of the same. Music also very similar in my opinion, but nice. right, I'm gonna skip through all this uh, so we can just get uh, to the end of this episode. Not that it's like boring. It's just uh, as I've said, we've we've seen this and heard this all before, and I want to kind of uh, get through this a little bit quicker and make uh, progress because you know next episode we are going to mentors. Lots of things gonna be happening next episode. Lots of fighting and. So a little bit of grinding and some requests and there's going to be a little bit of uh, persona making etc etc episode after that's going to pretty much just be a reaper grind fest i'm going to do it on camera because i can and why not and then an episode after that i think i'm going to uh, be fighting or well, not think i'm definitely going to be fighting the twins again the pan trophy that's going to be the end of the let's play so we're almost What's there guys we're almost there i hope you guys enjoyed this episode though of percent of our plat 100 walkthrough if you did please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button it really helps a lot if you are not subscribed yet uh if you guys want to check out my patreon link in the description below this is a way that can help me become a full-time youtuber and do this as a full-time career instead of just doing it as a hobby like i am right now i would love to make youtube full-time as i could edit more videos make more videos and just improve the overall quality of the video but unfortunately i do need help with that i can't just leave my job and do it i need uh, support and once i do have that support system i can look into making this a reality but for now thank you very very much for watching we are almost there guys three more episodes to go uh exactly three more episodes to go i'm make it i'm gonna make it a workout like that don't worry about it uh if you enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time more it's on a five